What's good, y'all? It's your guy, Bindu. And uh, you can see me today. Yay! Clap, hand, round, uh, round of applause. I'm actually trying a different camera. Um, my camera that I typically use for photography. So let me know if you guys like this. Um, I may need to get equipment to be able to do it directly on the computer and shit like technology, whatever. It doesn't matter to y'all. But um, today I'm here to talk to y'all about this Joe Biden mess that's going on. So I'm late to the party to these stories as usual. I have some things going on. So I haven't um, been able to keep up with stories and posts regularly like I want to, but I'm going to begin back into the swing of things. And I just found this um, press conference he did at the um, the summit between him and Putin and Geneva. Very interesting and very fascinating. So um, I want to start it off by saying it's kind of funny how now Republicans are Russiagating um, Joe Biden because I saw this ad. So I just wanted to start this off, you know, off the top. It's morning again in Russia. Today, thousands of comrades are going back to work building Russia's future. Thanks to U.S. President Joe Biden putting Russia first, the Russian economy is being built back better. Biden's hard work removing sanctions on the Nord Stream 2 pipeline means more money for our government to do the work of the Russian people. Billions and billions of rubles to build a stronger future for Russia. Thanks to Joe Biden, it's more again in Russia. So as you can see, you know, that that advertisement is ridiculous and it's reference referencing the Nord um, Nord Stream 2 pipeline or whatever that pipeline between Russia and Germany is called. But Biden lifted sanctions on there more than likely to ease tensions with another nuclear power, which it's not a bad thing. But um, Republicans are always, you know, cheering on war and, you know, same thing with Democrats. This just it's war is a consensus in Washington D.C. So I wanted to play that off top because now you just like uh, Glenn Greenwald had tweeted out the other day, basically saying you know you know the signs of a failed state is when both parties are basically like doing Soviet era um, you know red baiting and shit like that, and it's like it's just ridiculous. But um, Going back to the Soviet era, you know, the Cold War era, um, one of the things the United States liked to do during that um, time frame was overthrow countries. So at this press conference, Joe Biden decided to um, give his two cents on, you know, what it will look like for Vladimir Putin to, you know, be interfering in people's elections and things like that. So let's go ahead and hear what Joe Biden has to say. And I'll respond to that. His credibility worldwide shrinks. Let's get this straight. How would it be if the United States were viewed by the rest of the world as interfering with the elections directly of other countries and everybody knew it? What would it be like if we engaged in activities that he is engaged in? It diminishes the standing of a country that is desperately trying to make sure it maintains its standing as a major world power. And so it's not just what I do, it's what the actions that other countries take, in this case, Russia, that are contrary to international norms, it's the price they pay. (laughs) Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Um, Yeah. Do you not know that overthrowing countries and interfering in people's elections is like, you know, what the CIA does before breakfast? (laughs) <laughs> this and it's it's fucking insane because literally Joe Biden, um, I think he was on like the Senate Intelligence Committee or something like that. He he was involved heavily with our um intelligence communities and obviously the State Department. So he knows this. And this is either complete bullshit, which is not surprising from Joe Biden, or this is Joe Biden's dementia kicking in even more, which is also not surprising from Joe Biden. So, you know. I saw this one chart on Twitter that was like the CIA has actively overthrown like over 72 countries, you know, that we know of where and really I I would say it's more than that. They're like because when you look at the scope of how the United States operates its foreign policy, there's there's probably a lot of, you know, shit that we don't know about, you know, smaller countries we don't know about. But to sit there and say that while you're currently sanctioning Venezuela, Iran, um, Syria, like you're sanctioning these countries into oblivion, trying to interfere in their internal affairs. Like literally the United States just um, just deemed um, uh, Bashar 
Al-Assad's um, election, like basically like BS. They're basically saying, oh, it was rigged, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. And now the same thing is going on with Iran's elections, which it's, it's kind of weird to see a lot of lefties, like, and I'm going to call these motherfuckers out by name, um, Kyle Kalinske. And, I, you know, Kyle Kalinske is somebody I fuck with. He, I, you know, I fuck with his show. I don't agree with a lot of the shit he says, especially when it comes to third parties. And now when it comes to his stances on, you know, Iran's elections, because, bro, who are you to say Iran's elections are a sham or not? Have you have you researched deeply into Iran's elections? Because if you did, like Jackson Hankel just had this fucking professor on on his show that was talking about the complexities of the Iranian political system and how, yes, Kyle, people do get to vote in Iran. You know, you, you want to know what's proof of that? Because last time around, they voted for a fucking moderate, <laughs> the moderate guy, when the Ayatollah wanted the hardliner in. But guess what? They followed the will of the people and put the moderate in. But guess what? The United States has sanctioned them into oblivion that now the people want the fucking hardliner that's going to improve their economy. So this, you know. And that's it's not to, you know, completely take a, a shit on Kyle. But, bro, if you don't it, like don't speak on something, if you didn't completely research it, um, research, researched, I sound like a literate as fuck, researched it properly, because it's like, dog, if you would have just looked a little bit deeper, you would have seen the shit I did. Like, it literally took me 10 minutes to see this shit, because all I saw was the mainstream narratives about how, you know, Iran's elections are rigged. Then I got to the fucking boutique left shit, you know, like the Young Turks majority report talking about how um, Iran's elections are, you know, a sham, this, that, and the third. It's not democratic. And then I eat. Even that little fucker progressive voice, like he put this video out talking about like, oh, obviously Iran's elections are a sham. They're not democratic. They're not liberal. Bro, do you see your like, do you not remember 2016 when they cheated Bernie Sanders? Do you not remember that? You're probably one of those shit libs that don't that that, that um doesn't pay attention to that stuff. So kind of went on a side tangent there, but. But yeah, so Joe Biden talking about people's elections, we're getting back to that. Joe Biden talking about people's elections, you know, and Putin interfering in people's in internal affairs is just completely fucking ridiculous. Hold on, I'm going to take, I'm, I'm take a sip of coffee like a real fucking news host. But yeah, so... It's just, it's it's it, it, it's fucking ridiculous. And then even the fu the funniest part is the United States has inter interfered in Russia's elections post um post collapse of the Soviet Union. Um, they even bragged about bragged about it, putting Yeltsin in. I believe that's the guy's name. Putting Yeltsin in as as their president, which led to Vladimir Putin because Yeltsin was a puppet to the United States, and they basically balkanized Russia Russia and turned it in, turned it into a shithole, which drove people right into the arms of Putin. The United States does the same thing um, overseas that they do here. This is the same thing they did with Trump. Fucking 40 years of neoliberalism bullshit. And that led to Donald Trump. Bill Clinton, Barack Obama created Donald Trump. <laughs> and it's the same thing they did to Russia. You know, same thing, same thing they do in Russia. And who are we to tell them their leaders are invalid? <laughs> so... But I just found that video interesting because, you know, it, it's it's very like it, it's very like unself-aware. I don't know what the like the op, the word for, you know, an antonym for self-aware would be. I can't think of think of think of it off the top of my head right now. But it's very um I'm going to say egotistic. It's very egotistic to say that, um you know, like obviously Joe Biden has no self-awareness, but. It's not just his dementia, like it is dementia, because he probably forgot, but there's a lot of Americans that believe this shit, that will sit here like, people like Meghan McCain will sit on The View and talk about Alexei Navalny all day, but then turn around and call Julian Assange reality winner and American whistleblowers and journalists, you know, exposing the government's crimes, she'll turn around and call them criminals. So this is more American exceptionalist bullshit, you know, that American exceptionalism, you know, America's... It's all bullshit, but there's a lot of Americans that believe this shit. Even like we know our government does a lot of fuckery, but it's always on the scale. Of, you know, it's always from the um, the lens of, oh, well, we're doing it for good reasons where these people are just brutal dictators. Uh, like just complete bullshit. Like Danny Haifong was taught. I think he wrote a book about this, actually. So, but I'm going to go ahead and close the video out there, guys. Thanks for tuning in. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, emphasis on all that. Same thing on Odyssey, y'all. Thank you.
Thank you. I appreciate the love y'all been showing me. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Be easy. Yeah.